Welcome to another episode of Cadence Fishing TV. I'm fishing at Chester Lakes today and this lake's called the Eccleston Lake and Chappie set me a target. Um, the target's to catch 20 pounds of silverfish in a relatively short session, so over four hours. That's quite a tough challenge, I think. The weather's gone cold and the main reason for coming to this fishery is that it's got a good depth and in the winter we're hoping that there's going to be some fish that are going to feed on this tough day. So I've started off by plumbing the depth and it confirms that the depth is good. It's around about 11 foot and I'm going to fish two different lines. So let's have a look at the two different lines and understand how I'm going to feed them. Well it's a new venue for me so it really is a lovely spot and um, with that in mind I'm going to take it really cautiously. I've got no idea how it's fishing. We spoke to Mick the bailiff this morning and um, he felt that this was our best chance because this is actually one of the deeper lakes on the complex. So what I've done is I've selected two main lines. I've got a line out at 13 metres and I'm going to kick off. I'm actually going to start with just a small ball of micro pellets and a few casters. Then I've got another line at 6 metres to my left and I'm going to just put in a small ball of ground bait and I'm going to loose feed casters over that line. So in my mind I've got two options. Um, I know that this lake's very very prolific for carp but I don't think the carp are going to be a great option given the cold conditions and I know that it's got a good head of skimmers and roach and that's the challenge that Chappie set so let's kick off. Obviously when the fishing's hard like this or potentially hard you really don't want to start off and feed loads of bait because it'd be very easy to overfeed the peg and you know perhaps have to wait ages for the fish to respond and, and get a bite. So I'm just going to drop that ball of micro pellets and a few casters there at 13 metres and I've actually in my mind I've visually marked it against the, the very corner of that island so I know when I go out and fish that line I'll be fishing straight over the top of that bait. And then this is going to be for the six meter line so I'm just going to put a, a smallish ball of ground bait. I've actually got nothing in the ground bait I'm just going to put a sprinkling of casters in the cup. So hopefully that'll do the job of just attracting some fish into the spot where we're fishing and we can start to build the swim up. So I've decided to feed this swim to the left so that it's out of the way of the 13 meter line when hopefully I'm bringing fish backwards and forwards and I've got a tree over there that I'm going to mark up with that one. So I spent a lot of time plumbing up at the start and that's so important especially when you're fishing a new venue and it's it was quite interesting really you've got a a really steep shelf that bottoms out around about five and a half meters and then it's really flat out I've actually got the same depth out at 13 meters I have at six meters that's quite handy really because I've set up three different rigs and I can interchange them between both lines and obviously I've got a huge expanse of water to fish as well so as the session progresses we might utilise another area in the swim but I'm going to keep it tight and just feed two swims to start with. Well I started on the 6 metre line and um, I think I went about probably 10 minutes before I had a bite. I tried a, a few different hook baits and um, ended up on a double fluoro pinky which got me a, a roach. It was a, not a massive roach, about 3 ounces but it was always good to get off the start and get a bite. 
And then what I'm doing on this line is I'm feeding casters um, really regularly. So probably five, six casters. And um, I just want to try and encourage the roach to obviously home into the area that I'm feeding. And with any luck, we might catch some roach as the session progresses on the drop with a lighter rig. But at the moment I'm fishing on the bottom, just on the bottom. I'm using a, a gram rig. And at the moment the fish are, are definitely hard on the bottom. I'm not getting any bites on the drop. And uh, I've just had a bite there and I've got a feeling that might be a, a carp. <laughs> anyway, might be a skimmer, you never know. I haven't tried the long line yet. I just thought I'd let that settle and obviously I fed that differently. I fed that with uh, micro pellets. And I'm hoping that um, some skimmers might move over that, but I've got a big suspicion that this is a big carp that uh, hasn't really woken up yet. I'm only fishing fine, I'm only fishing a 08 hook length, so probably haven't got a lot of chance of getting it out, but... Well, Mick the bailiff told me that the biggest carp out of this lake has been 26 pounds, so there's some right monsters, but hopefully this isn't that one. There you go. Oh well, that finally bust me. No surprise on the fine gear. Let's get another hook length fine and hopefully start catching the roach again. Well, it took a few minutes to get another bite after this disturbance of that carp. But the roach are back now, and um, that's my 16th one. So, starting to build a nice net of fish already. And I haven't tried the 13 metre line yet. I've um, switched over to red maggot now. And uh, I'm still on the one gram rig fishing on the bottom. It's a nice positive rig. And um, I set it up because although the wind's off my back at the moment, it has been going across me as well. And I just thought I'd have a float that would enable me to cope with the wind if it got bad. And also, it's a, as we discussed at the start, it's quite deep. So this gram floats fishing well at the moment. I've set up two other rigs as well um, to fish on the drop and obviously shallower if the fish come up. But at the moment, these roach are feeding really well and they're responding to the caster. So I think in a minute I'm going to try a caster and this feels like a slightly better fish. This is my best roach so far. 
So that's a welcome boost. That's going to help get to my target. If I can pick off stamp ropes like that, that one's got to be six ounces. I'm amazed really how fast these roaches have responded given the cold conditions. Well, I'm uh, about an hour in now, and I've got 25 roach. And um, I haven't actually tried the longer line yet. I've topped up a few times with a few more balls of pellets. But obviously my target's 20 pound of these silverfish, so the fact that I'm catching them at six meters is great, because obviously I can hopefully catch them quicker. And uh, the fish are definitely feeding well now. It's perhaps interesting that I've decided to feed my casters by hand rather than by a cup. And again, that's just simply down to efficiency really, because um, obviously I'm feeding very, very regularly and it wouldn't be very possible to do that with a pole cup. Um, and obviously by just constantly loose feeding like that, I can feed as regularly as I want. And um, I have had a couple of bites now where the fish has taken the bait on the drop. So I think it's almost time now to try a, a rig that's fishing just a bit off the bottom and with a much slower fall. This rig's really quite positive. It's got an olivet that's getting the bait right down to the, around about a foot or maybe two foot off the bottom. And I've got three number 10 shot that are settling and allow me to register the bites very, very positively and clearly. But one thing I do know that um, when you're fishing on commercials like this and you're targeting the silverfish, the bigger silverfish, like the bigger roach, will actually come off the bottom. And um, obviously those are the roach that will really help me to build the weight. So even when I'm pleasure fishing, I know this is a bit of a challenge, even when I'm pleasure fishing, I, I like to really push myself and try and catch as many fish as I can. So I'm always sort of trying to challenge myself as to what the best rig is, what the best bait is, and what the best feeding is to get the most out of the peg. Must just be the matchman in me, but it's also just great fun catching a, a way to silverfish like this and building up a, a good a good net of fish. So when you're
fishing the pole like this, it really pays to have a, all your tackle arranged carefully around you so that you everything's to hand. Obviously my bait box with my caster is the most important thing and that's very easy to get into whilst I'm holding the pole. I can select the casters I want and feed. And um, same goes for my landing net and my keep net, they're positioned perfectly so that I can fish as efficiently as possible. Well, I just tried my lighter rig and had a couple of better roach straight away and um, I'm actually now shallowing up even more. I've decided I'm going to take some line off my rig so that I can fish three foot off the bottom because this is a lighter rig, it's actually shotted with style leads and uh, it wasn't even settling which tells me that the fish have come right up in the water. I didn't expect to catch this shallow so quickly, but it just shows you, I guess, about regular feeding and on prolific lakes like Chester Lake. These roach are obviously really hungry and they're prepared to come up in the water even on a colder day like this. So. Hopefully this rig now will be a bit more efficient so that I can catch them even quicker and hopefully continue to catch the better stamp roach on the drop. Might be that during the day the, the fish are moving up and down in the water and I might have to switch between the slightly shallower rig and the deeper rig but We'll see. Because the wind's swirling around quite a bit, and this is a lighter rig, this is a 0.4 rig. I don't want to have too much line between the pole tip and the float. But I may be shallowed up a little bit too much, so I'll just add another six inches on. At the moment, um, red maggots out fishing caster. I have caught fish on caster, but I'm getting a much quicker bite on the maggots. So it's quite fascinating really when you think that obviously I'm only feeding casters on this line now. Maybe the Red maggot, you know, singled out by the fish quicker than the caster. I don't know, but it's definitely working better at the moment. Now that was a bite on the drop again. The, the float hadn't fully settled. Well, that's the stamp of roach I'm catching. I've got 65 now we've been fishing for about an hour and 40 minutes so I reckon I'm on track for Chappie's target. If I've got to catch, I reckon they're three to four to the pound so I'm going to need about 120 roach and then um, it's been amazing really. I've, I have caught fish up in the water on my lighter rig but it wasn't like I was 
catching them regular. So the fish are obviously coming off the bottom and uh, I've had to switch between the different rigs. I'd go back deeper and catch a few fish and uh, then I'd start getting hold ups and missing bites so I'd have to shallow up. And I've actually just stopped fishing for five minutes and changed to another rig which is um, a kind of compromise between the two really. So I think I need a, a positive rig to get to where the fish are feeding. Um, but the, the lighter style rig I was using was simply taking too long and wasn't as efficient to get down to the fish and register the bites properly. So I'm fishing about three foot off the bottom now and I've gone on to a 0.8 rig, again with an olivet and just two droppers. And um, this rig's working really well. So it just shows you've got to adapt to the, the day as the fish respond and work out what the best rig is and the best way of presenting the bait. But this now is a very efficient way of catching them and hopefully it's going to get me to my target. The hook I'm using is a size 18 and I'm fishing with a 0.09 hook length. Maybe I could fish a bit heavier now because the fish are feeding really well but as I'm not expecting any bigger fish I think I'll just stick with this. I haven't had any skimmers but the roach fishing is absolutely brilliant. I think it's fascinating when you consider that the roach are feeding off the bottom like this particularly in the cold and in my mind, I think there, there must be a, perhaps a band of roach today that are feeding really positively, perhaps between two and three foot off the bottom. And um, they've obviously risen up to intercept the casters that I'm loose feeding. But they don't, they're not going to come right up in this deep water. And um, this rig now is absolutely great. I'm getting a fish straight away I'm getting the bait down to where those fish are and the, buzz the positive bulk and two droppers is registering the bites really quickly so it's been quite a surprise to me really I was expecting to catch if I did catch off the bottom with a more finesse rig if you like but this bulk rig fishing two or three foot off the bottom is definitely the best rig at the moment. I'm up to 70 fish now. Absolutely pristine fish. Well, I've been fishing for three hours and I've got a hundred roach now and um, I've actually changed my rig again. That rig that I set up was working really well and the fish have come up even higher in the water so I've adapted my shallow rig and I'm fishing at half depth now and uh, the fish are just staying at that depth so Considering we're in the middle of December, it's absolutely amazing. And um, I've had a variety of sizes of roach. I haven't had any really big roach. And I just tried feeding a bit closer and fishing at five meters and I could catch fish, but the roach weren't quite as big. So I've gone back out to six meters now. But um, it's been really fast and furious sport and kept me going on this cold day but I suppose it just goes to show that you've got to adapt as the session progresses and you know on another day I might only have caught on the bottom but the fish have been very obliging today and come up in the water 
Absolutely fantastic sport. That feels like a bit better, Roach. Let's see if I can get him. Just sneak him there. Nice one. I'll just hold him up for you. I've been just feeding casters, and as the sessions progressed and the fish have got more and more confident, I've actually been feeding more. I've fed around about two and a half pints of casters at the moment. And um, obviously that regular feeding is what's brought the fish up in the water. The longer 13 metre line I've completely abandoned now. Um, obviously I'm catching so well close in. I decided that I didn't need it, but again on another day, I might have needed to rest this close in line and pick off odd fish from the longer line. And who knows, maybe caught some bigger stamp fish like bigger roach or maybe even skimmers. Well, as Chester Lakes has proven today, certainly a good idea if you're looking for some silverfish action, maybe a pleasure session on a lake, try and target the deeper lakes in the winter. Obviously, the, the deeper water just must stay that little bit warmer and uh, enables the fish to feed in the colder conditions. I just love this kind of fishing on commercials when you target the silver fish like this. Really is absolutely fantastic sport. Well, that's a better stamp roach. Those are the real weight boosters. So I hope I can catch a few more of them in the last hour of this session. Spectacular fish. Okay, let's have a look at the rigs that I've used today. For fishing on the bottom, and when I was fishing at the start of the session, I was using this Gram Census Letitia float. I really like these because you can change the tips. And today you can see I've got a 
a black tip on there, which shows up perfectly against the light coloured water. It's got a wire stem and my thinking there was, I know the wind's off my back, but at times today the wind's been quite gusty and that's given me some good stability and perfect for when I want to fish the bait on the bottom. And I mentioned at the start of the video, it's quite a positive rig. Here's the Olivet and I've just got three number 10s spaced out below. And as the session progressed, obviously the fish came up in the water. So I shallowed up a foot and caught well, and then they came up even higher. So I set up a, a similar rig, in this case a 0.8 gram version. It was also on a top four, but with a bit shorter line. And that was to enable me to fish efficiently, sort of three foot off the bottom. Similar with a positive rig and three dropper shot. But as the session progressed, the fish came up even higher in the water. And this has been by far my best rig. And uh, I've got this just set up on the top two. And I'm fishing around about five foot deep. So certainly less than half depth. And it's a 0.4 float with a carbon stem and absolutely perfect for when you're catching on the drop. I actually had a bulk there of number nine styles. So my thinking there was just to get the bait somewhere down to where the fish are feeding. And then I've got styles spread out in the bottom three foot to give me that lovely, slow, natural fall. So that's the rigs. Hook wise, I've just swapped between an 18 or a 20, B911, barbless hook. And the uh, main line was 0.125 Vest Pro. I started on an 08 hook length, and then in the end, I've ended up fishing that, which is basically 0.10 millimeter. Best hook bait, really, I think, for ease of more than anything has been single red maggot. And uh, I think the maggot's been good because obviously if I've missed a bite, I've still got a fair chance of getting another bite. On the caster, if you miss a bite, then typically it's shelled and you've got to come in and uh, rebait. But I have caught some fish on caster and I've been hooking them in the same way as a maggot. So I haven't been burying the hook. I've just been leaving the hook exposed. I've tried double caster, it hasn't really worked today. Amazing when you think how many fish are feeding up in the water, but they have sort of rejected a double caster. And I've also tried corn, and I'm not caught on corn, and I've tried some soft pellets as well. So today's definitely been a day for fishing caster and maggots. And um, yeah, just good, simple roach fishing. Well, I mentioned at the start of the video that I was gonna throw my casters on this short line rather than cup them in. And as the sessions progressed and the fish have obviously got more confident and as I've started to increase the, the feed, I've actually intentionally spread the bait around a bit as well. So obviously a lot of roach feeding out there and I'm, I'm not trying to sort of keep feeding them in a tight spot. And it's become apparent that by trying different areas of of the swim, I've been able to pick off different stamped fish. When I came this side of the feed and closer in at five meters, the stamp of the fish really reduced. Um, and it's definitely the case that the slightly better stamp fish are, are out in the feed or just past it. And I suppose it's just worth mentioning that even on a cold day like this, the, the fish are moving around all the time. You know, I've had to change depth as well as where I'm fishing within the swim. The elastic I've used today is, um, on my deeper rig I've used a Presta number six, and on the shallower rig I'm using a, a number five. And the slightly softer elastic's obviously better if you're hooking fish up in the water, and also, when I'm constantly changing depth and the length of line of my rig, because it's more flexible, I suppose, enabling me to keep breaking down on my force section and uh, still swing the fish in. And I guess over time that would make the job more efficient as well. Um, you'll notice that on my pole, which is the CP2000, I'm utilising this half extension. And these are really neat. 
So this one fits on the five and the six section. And it's obviously reinforced and takes a lot of abuse. And um, I really like to use these when I'm fishing like this and exploiting different lengths within one swim. Well, chap is called time on me and I just snuck that roach, which is a better roach, on the caster. Another beautiful fish, about six ounces. Oh. Have I hit the target? That's the question. Well, we've weighed the fish, Chappie's official scalesman, and uh, I had 22 pounds, just around about 130 roach, so I'm pleased with that. Well done, sir. Time to celebrate. Another job done by my big buddy here. Absolutely spectacular fishing. Well done, James. Thanks, mate. Don't eat them all at once. Very generous. Don't eat them all at once, mate. Well, that's a wonderful net of winter roach. What a beautiful venue Chester Lakes is. Let's get them back. Thanks for watching.